we'll start with the horse stance. The horse stance is a fundamental Tai Chi movement. It's actually a fundamental martial arts movement. Every martial art utilizes the horse stance, and Tai Chi is no different. The horse stance is named after the way that it looks. It looks like you're sitting down in a saddle on a horse. So your feet are a little more than shoulder width apart. They're fairly parallel. Uh, sometimes we stand like this. You want to pull the heels out a little bit so they're a little bit more parallel. And what we do is we let the Dan Tien drop down a bit as if we were settling down into a, a horse's saddle. Okay. Now notice as the pelvis drops down, or as the Dan Tien drops down, the tailbone curls under a little bit. Okay, you can feel this inside yourself as you practice it a few times. So again, as you straighten up your knees, the sacrum will come out a bit. Now as you drop down into the horse stance, the sacrum tilts under slightly. The pelvis tilts up just a little bit. This isn't a rigid thing. It's very effortless. It just happens as you settle down. Knees are bent about enough so that when you look down over your knees, you can barely see the ends of your tennis shoes. Okay. Now, as we allow the Dan Tien to drop down, we also think of the top of the head being drawn up by a thread towards the ceiling. The chin is slightly tucked in. So this takes some of the curvature out of the, out of the cervical vertebrae here. Also in the lumbar region, as the pelvis tilts, it takes some of the curvature out of the lumbar. So what we've done is we've elongated the spine. Not in a rigid way, it's not like standing at attention, but it's in a very effortless way. So you take a deep breath. As you let that sigh out, think of allowing the whole body to relax into a lengthened posture. Good.